hi and welcome again to your five minute revit today we will see the datum element when we say the datum element we mean levels grids and a reference plan uh, the datum elements they are so important in revit because without levels we will not have a project and without uh, levels we cannot have element that uh, will be hosted hosted on on this uh, on on, on uh, levels because the every if we if you see people they are a little bit advanced in rivet they know that virtually all content placed in a rivet model has level uh, parameters and this is important because uh, levels they are the uh, they establish the the project context uh, every element that we uh, that we host uh, in a project always uh, we need to have a level let's discover how we uh, create levels and how levels they are related for example to uh, to uh, to floor plans or a level uh, or a ceiling plans for example here uh, i am in floor plans level one if i go to here double click in elevation and I go here in level one, I double click here, okay? It's bring me to level one. If I double click here and I come back to this elevation, south elevation, and I click on level two, it's bring me to level two. Okay, this is, that's mean if we go to this, like now I am in a level two, if I go to the property of the floor plan level two, I will see associated level level two okay remember that that is very important because when you are working in the project that uh, has like uh, more than 200 views or 300 views it will be difficult to know which view which views associate to which level this is why it is important to understand this concept let's create some levels and discover how it work now i go to double click here and if you want to create level levels you must be in elevation or in a section you cannot go to the level one here and want to go to datum element and create level you cannot because it's gray out you, you see it's a gray out i cannot create levels in a floor plan or a ceiling you must to be in elevation or in a section okay i go to elevation here and I go, I just delete this uh, reference plan and this uh, grids. We will see them in a couple of uh, videos in a datum element, okay? Now I go to level here. And before I start uh, modeling the levels, see here, when I point my cursor here, I have this guideline and I have this temporary dimension, okay? But before that, we must keep look to the option bar. You will, you will discover in in my videos that always I, uh, I remind our uh, our subscriber that it's very important to take a look on the option bar because sometimes it can save you a lot of time. Okay, uh, if I go to the option bar and uh, I this here I uncheck make plan view. I uncheck it and I pl uh, place here my, my level, okay? Escape a couple of time. Just here, I just select my level and I put here 4,000 millimeters, enter, okay? Now, if we see here, we have this level bubble in black and this one, we have it here in blue what is the difference okay the difference is very simple because so many people they they uh, they are new in rivet and they say okay what is the difference between that and that because if i double click here and level it's bring me now to uh, to floor plan if i double click here it's bringing me nowhere i cannot go nowhere because what i explained in the beginning of this video each level as each, each view associate to to level here we have this level but we don't have any view here any views associated with this level that's mean 
when we create, like when I click on levels and I uncheck this one, Riven doesn't create for me a view associated to this level. I skip a couple of time and I repeat again this time level and I let Rivet make floor plan for me associated to this level. And you will see here the difference. Now, couple, uh, escape a couple of time. I have, the, I have here a level four and uh, I have already Rivet created level four for me and created even structural plan for that. I will show you how to manage that. But keep uh, uh, keep eyes in on level uh, three here, and you can have a question and you say, what I do if I want to have a floor plan associated with this level? It's very simple. I go to view here, and I go to plan view here. I click on this small arrow here, and I go to floor plan. And you see here this dialog box rivet will tell me uh, by the way, this level doesn't have any view associated. He detected that by default. Because if I uncheck that, I will have all levels. That means do not duplicate existing view. If I check that, that it gives me this level don't have associated view. If I click OK, now I have here level uh, floor plan level 3. But if I came here it disappear uh, now it disappeared the, the the color the black color now it's a blue because when i double click here it's bringing me here to level two that's mean if i check here the floor plan level two i have associated level level three this is uh, so, uh, some sometime it, it's very confusing uh, co come back again to here like a structural uh, structural plan how rivet creates for me a structural plan for level four without i want that i don't want th that he create that uh, it's very easy if i go here like to uh, elevation sorry s east elevation here and i go to architecture and i go to level and then before i start to draw i keep eye on my option bar and I go here to a plan view type and you see rivet automatically when you check this one, make plan view, you check this, this button, he will create for you a ceiling plan, a floor plan and structural plan. If you want just floor plan, just click on floor plan. Okay. On select the ceiling plan and the structural plan. Okay. Now, if I create a level five here, okay and I escape a couple of time, it creates only level five. He don't create structural plan. Okay, just click here and delete. And now I hope this video explained to you how the levels uh, work. We, we get uh, furthermore in the other videos on the levels.